Hello, uh, I'm Hiroyuki Cho, uh, Oiska International. Today I'm going to uh, talk about uh, uh, this long-term strategy for long-term solutions. Uh, especially on uh, our organization's OISCA's uh, activity, uh, restoration of coastal forest, mangrove, and coral reefs. Uh, let me briefly explain uh, OISCA. OISCA, uh, we are an international NGO, uh, has category general uh, UN ECOSOX. Uh, OISCA has been engaging in supporting communities to create environmentally uh, sustainable societies in, uh, so far, around 30 countries since uh, 1961, already uh, 55 years. Uh, our, uh, this presentation's distinct feature is uh, this series. OISCA, uh, we are the only NGO implement these uh, three uh, activities, maybe, and uh, unique methods of restoration and uh, active participations of communities. Uh, let me uh, go into the concrete example. Uh, first, in Bangladesh, uh, as you might know, 1991 April, there was a big Cyclones, uh, also tsunamis, caused by tsunamis, uh, this. And uh, 140 people, unfortunately, dead. And then uh, we started to plant mangroves next year. And uh, until now, we have been planting with local communities and with global communities. These members uh, belong to the uh, labor union uh, from Japan. They have been coming to Bangladesh for 20 consecutive years to support planting. Then uh, we already established 30 kilometers long uh, green walls, uh, more than 600 uh, hectares. This is the outcome of long-term actions. Uh, next challenge is Philippines. Uh, typhoon Haiyan, or in Philippines, Yolanda, uh, 2013. Uh, November hits like this. Uh, then uh, let me talk about this small islets, uh, one of the uh, roots. Uh, this islet uh, consists of three small uh, islands. Uh, one, this one, this part, uh, island, severely, unfortunately, hit and uh, damaged. Almost all houses are washed out. But uh, this area, town, uh, was not uh, severely damaged. Because uh, in this island, uh, Oiska uh, assisted a community to plant trees 25 years ago. Then later on, uh, established like this. Uh, it takes 20, uh, five years for preparation. This was a long time, but uh, it proves. Let me uh, ch uh, please check. These are the mangroves we planted. Mm. Because of the mangroves, the communities here are protected. Mm. Uh, third challenge is in Fiji, uh, restoration of coastal forest, mangrove, and coral reefs. The location. Uh, these are the sites, our project sites. 
we have around uh, 35 villages. Uh, in Fiji also, uh, recently, this 10 years especially, uh, suffering from the coastal erosions. Look at this. Uh, this is uh, our, one of the, our site, uh, coral, coral conservation sites. Please check, uh, see this. Uh, this is a scene that uh, waves from the ocean is break, uh, attacking at the uh, coral reefs and breakdowns. And one of the researcher from the U Ryukyu University found that uh, uh, coral reefs reduce the height of waves into one tenth. Uh, it is so powerful. Uh, this is uh, our uh, coral conservation site. Then, uh, what is a method? Method is uh, unique. Uh, planting corals, uh, plant making the uh, nurseries. Uh, but uh, as you know, as you might know, the area need to be restored. Are very large. That's why uh, it is almost impossible to cover uh, this area by planting. But uh, what uh, we found that is uh, this coral uh, planting uh, could be a good tool for environmental education to the communities. Uh, we found that uh, most villagers, as well as child children, who planted corals uh, had a sense of ownership. Once they planted, they felt, uh, this is our place, don't step on like that. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we are now going into the next stage steps. That is MPA, Marine Protected Areas, uh, protected by the villagers. We have uh, more than 10 areas already uh, set. Then uh, mangrove also uh, working on well. Uh, uh, as you might know, the mangroves catch the soils, then uh, catch the soil from the upstreams or uplands to uh, protect the corals of shores, mm. so that the uh, coral areas, uh, sea, will be uh, clean and uh, can maintain uh, continuously to do the photosynthesis. Of course, uh, with the community, as well as with children. Uh, let me uh, introduce, uh, explain unique methods. Uh, the best condition for coral is to uh, live in the mud soils, but uh, even in the rocky areas, we did, with a uh, box. The box, with this box, you know, the waves can come anywhere, not only from the sea, but also uh, return to, from the sea, uh, of, uh, any, anywhere, else, then protect it. Uh, this is uh, just uh, after the plantings. Then three years later, uh, they grow very well. Mm -hmm. Now it's become big more. But, uh, you know, this is a little bit uh, uh, costly. Then uh, we are now uh, developing. Uh, more applicable methods, uh, putting the big stones and planting two or more uh, seedlings. But uh, this method is just, uh, we started for one year, uh, one year ago. That's why we'll see the uh, results. Mm. But I hope it, it's work on well. 
they also uh, we are planting uh, coastal forests, uh, restoring coastal forests uh, with the support of the forestry agency in Japan. Uh, here is uh, our uh, site for co coral uh, reef conservations. The lastly, uh, the here is uh, our challenge in the Natori city, uh, Miyagi, Tohoku, Japan's coastal forest. Uh, four years ago, uh, 12 meters high tsunami hit the Natori city here, like this. This is the uh, areas. Uh, of our project sites. Please see, this is a coastal forest. 400 years ago, uh, Date Masamune, the boss of this uh, castle, uh, established uh, this forest to protect the inner, uh, inner lands. Then uh, all forests after the tsunami Gone. This was a uh, terrible. But uh, immediately after the tsunami tragedies, disasters, we started est uh, restore the forests with the uh, help of volunteers, also uh, communities, local communities. Uh, hundreds or thousands of uh, volunteers are coming, and also private companies, hun more than hundreds. Uh, this is a uh, scene uh, this year. Uh, unlike the tropical countries, our trees in Japan grow very slow uh, for three years, just like this. Mm. Yes. Uh, last year, we uh, planted uh, those uh, pine trees, black pines. But uh, although we set uh, 10 years project uh, durations, but uh, I'm afraid it takes uh, 50 years to restore it. But we know. Uh, this is very important. Uh, lastly, uh, let me summarize. We are now uh, using or borrowing the power of nature and also local community with strong ownership and uh, global citizens and companies and of course from the government. Uh, because of the, because they have a strong ownership, it will be sustainable and long term. They uh, come from other sites to uh, do the volunteers, also companies funding and governments, legal supports. Uh, with the help of uh, those stakeholders, we have been uh, restoring the, uh, those natures and uh, continue. And <clears throat> uh, as you know, recently the, there was a big tragedy yesterday in Vanuatu. I hope uh, we, as well as uh, our international society, to help them with uh, those uh, activities. Thank you.